you can save 33% on premium certified pre-owned luxury cars. The only luxury Highline dealership in the entire Washington metropolitan area to have received Edmunds.com five-star dealer of the year award for the past four years in a row. Over 30 years in business. Over 19,000 happy clients. Isn't it about time you visited Select Auto Imports in Alexandria, Virginia? Select Auto Imports. Drive luxury for less and find out what drives you. This is a story about doers, cutting edge tech, and doing it better. Anywhere you find the energy that keeps doers doing, you got to keep a close eye on how you're doing it. Chevron's piloting a pilot program. Yeah, without pilots. They're drones. With HD imaging and thermal mapping capabilities, all to help Chevron keep their wells, tanks, and pipes in tip-top shape. It's real high-tech stuff. I see what you did there. Chevron, going to new heights to find better ways to keep doers doing. Hi, it's Chris Core. I know you've heard me talk about my Closet America miracle, but don't just take my word for it. Check out these online reviews. Closet America has transformed my life with a new master walk-in closet and mudroom. Loved seeing the closet in 3D. I had a better visual of what my clothes would look like and how they'd fit in the space. You can be thrilled with the results, too. Schedule your free consultation today at ClosetAmerica.com. Closet America, everything in its place perfectly. Your money at 25 and 55 on WTOP. 455 on to Jeff Claybaugh. The Dow finished the day up 512 points. That's 2%. That's the Dow's second best day of the year. The S&P 500 index up 59 points. That was 2%. The Nasdaq rallied 194 points. That was a 2.7% gain. Uber is under investigation by tax authorities in the U.S., the U.K., and the Netherlands. Uber's $1 billion quarterly loss last quarter was the biggest quarterly loss of any publicly traded company. The CEO at big Arlington-based IT contractor CACI is stepping down. Ken Asbury has been CACI's chief executive since 2013. COO John Mangushi will take the CEO role effective July 1st. Spirit Airlines has added a half dozen new destinations from BWI Marshalls so far this year. It'll add Nashville this fall. Spirit is now the second busiest airline at BWI Marshall behind Southwest. Jeff Clayball, WTLP Money. Thank you, Jeff. While the president is in London, Mexican officials getting ready to come to Washington and talk tariffs. It's 4.56. Hi, this is Dave Preston. Summertime for many means going on vacation. For me, it often means reading by the pool. Those college football preview magazines won't read themselves, you know. It also means doing laundry inside on rainy days when I'd much rather be by the pool. And if I'm stuck inside on a summer Sunday morning, I can at least take consolation that law and order is on. After that, I'll be able to watch quality programming. And after that, I'll be able to watch quality programming thanks to Xfinity. Current shows that are on now, like This Is Us and A Million Little Things, to special miniseries along the lines of Fosse Verdon, plus all of the classic and contemporary movies. I feel like The Martian is on all the time. It's on its way to being the new Shawshank. And if it gets nice, I can set up a recording and go back outside exactly where I wanted to be in the first place. If you didn't know, Xfinity has something for everyone. A voice remote that lets you search Netflix, Prime Video, and YouTube in 4K on the big screen. Check out the latest at your local Xfinity store. Proven healthcare interoperability matters. Every day, HIEs powered by InterSystems HealthShare serve over 200 million people, connecting millions of disparate health records. This not only gives patients the freedom to get the care they need, but also streamlines how they access it while reducing risks. For a proven interoperable healthcare solution, look to InterSystems the power behind what matters. The Northeast Boundary Tunnel will significantly reduce chronic flooding in the area it serves. Construction may impact your commute on Rhode Island Avenue. Learn how at dcwater.com slash nebt. 458. Traffic and weather on the 8s and when it breaks. In Maryland, Prince George's County, 197 Laurel Bowie Road between the Parkway and uh, Bowie at a point about midway between Old Laurel Bowie Road and Powder Mill Road. Drivers getting by the crash very slowly reporting at that point one overturn. And I believe alternating only one direction at a time, 197. On the parkway, on the interstate between the beltways, no mishaps noted. 
on 395 South. The left entrance into the Easy Pass Lane south of Duke closed for emergency repairs. Route 7 heading westbound over the mountain and down toward the Shenandoah River. All is caught up in delays to a point to be determined. The WTB Traffic Center presented by Window Nation. Buy now, pay no interest for five years. Visit windownation.com. Bob Marburg, WTOP Traffic. Corn for a beautiful evening tonight with temperatures falling into the 60s and overnight lows in the upper 50s to mid 60s with clear skies. If you're noticing some haziness out there this evening, that's actually haze coming from wildfires burning in western Canada. We'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening, and they could be strong to severe. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Amelia Draper. 78 outside the glass enclosed nerve center. 459. This is WTOP, Washington's top news. WTOP-FM Washington, WWWTFM Manassas, WTLP-FM Braddock Heights Frederick, and online at WTOP.com. Good afternoon, I'm Sean Anderson. I'm Hillary Howard coming up. The governor of Virginia bringing lawmakers back for a special session. I'm Neil Augenstein. A firefighter who didn't show up for work is found dead on rural property. I'm Michelle Bash. The Dow gains 512 points. ABC News is next, sponsored by Lido Pizza. Lido Pizza never cuts corners. Five o'clock. From ABC News. I'm Scott Goldberg. A growing number of Republicans say they would consider stopping President Trump from issuing the tariffs against Mexico he's been threatening. Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa says he sees this as a setback in the negotiations over the new NAFTA trade deal. I thought uh, we had made great progress by getting rid of the tariffs on steel and aluminum. And, uh, and uh, then to have this come along. The president threatened tariffs because he says Mexico is not doing enough to stop migrants from entering the U.S. The former Florida deputy criticized for not entering Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School during the mass shooting there last year is now in custody. Scott Peterson was arrested, charged with child neglect, negligence, and perjury in connection with the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Virginia's Governor Ralph Northam is calling a special session of the state's legislature to consider what he says are common-sense gun laws. We lost 1,028 Virginians due to gun violence in 2017. That's almost three people a day. Incredibly, that is more deaths than those due to vehicle accidents. Investigators are still looking into the motive for last week's deadly workplace shooting in Virginia Beach. The Trump administration is announcing new changes, severely limiting travel to Cuba. In some cases, the U.S. government will grandfather in these new rules for anybody who has made a flight or a hotel reservation in Cuba. But for U.S. cruise lines running popular cruises, it appears immediately they will not be allowed to dock in Cuba. ABC's Alex Stone. A new study estimates North Korea's nuclear test in 2017 was 16 times more powerful than the blast in Hiroshima during World War II and much more powerful than other North Korean tests. On Wall Street today, a surge. The Dow gained 512 points after the Fed said it would be open to easing monetary policy if there's a downturn in the U.S. economy. You're listening to ABC News. Hi, I'm Marty, a manager on the IT support team at Google. One of the toughest parts of my job, finding qualified people to hire. Right now, there are thousands of unfilled IT support jobs in America with average starting salaries of $52,000. That's why we're making an IT skills training program we developed at Google available online. No tech experience or college degree necessary. Finish the program and you can have your resume considered for roles at Google and other top companies. Check it out online at g.co slash IT certificate. That's g.co slash IT certificate. Summer has arrived and with it, a hot deal from University Painters. Call now for their sizzling 50% off paint and material special. 800-390-4848 to schedule your free estimate. Interior or exterior painting, carpentry, drywall, plaster repair, residential or commercial with over 20 years experience. University Painters is the best in the business and your one-stop shop for painting needs. 800-390-4848 or universitypainters.com. 503 on WTOP, Tuesday afternoon, June 4th, 2019. What a day, another one. We've got sunny skies. We're at 78 degrees. Live from the Glass Enclosed Nerve Center, this is Washington's top news. 103.5 FM and WTOP.com. Here are Sean Anderson and Hillary Howard. 
Hey, glad to have you with us this afternoon. We now have more on Virginia's governor, who is ordering lawmakers back to session over gun violence. Days after 12 people were shot to death in a Virginia Beach workplace massacre, the governor's pushing for common sense gun control legislation. He says it's overdue. Our elementary school children practice lockdown drills. Governor Ralph Northam says it's wrong that society now views mass shootings as the normal. That's what our society has come to because we have failed to act on gun violence. Northam says he'll be introducing measures he raised last year, including universal background checks and a ban on assault rifles, including suppressors and bump stocks. But he wants the bills put to a vote by the entire General Assembly this year. Delay only means what it always means that there will be a next time. Neil Logan staying WTLP News. They're in favor of traffic. That's what Maryland's governor is saying today about those who are against his plan to widen the beltway in I-270. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan ripped into the opponents of his public-private partnership plan for 495 in I-270. Just yesterday, 59 lawmakers urged the Board of Public Works to hold off on the vote on the multi-billion dollar plan. Hogan told a business group... This is like a, a bad movie sequel. The return of the roadkill. It's like the mother of all roadkills. There is one area where the governor and opponents agree, depending on the final configuration of the P3 plan. It literally will determine the quality of life for Marylanders for decades to come. Kate Ryan, WTOP News. An off-duty Frederick County, Maryland firefighter died in an accident involving an overturned tractor... WTOP's Michelle Bash has that story. When 60-year-old firefighter Drew Jones did not report for duty, Montgomery County firefighters were asked to check on him at his home near Sugarloaf Mountain in the Dickerson area. The property is large, and initially they couldn't find Jones or his tractor. But in about 20 minutes... We were able to locate the tractor at the bottom of a very steep ravine that was uh, in an area that... Uh, appears to be used for dumping. Pete Perringer with Montgomery County Fire says Jones was pinned under the tractor and died at the scene. Jones had worked for Frederick County Fire and Rescue for 14 years. Michelle Bash, WTOP News. The deaths of a man and woman in Clinton, Maryland, we told you about earlier today, are the result of a murder-suicide. Prince George's County Police say they found the bodies in a bedroom on East Bonnewood Turn about 10 last night. Investigators say Gordon Johnson shot and killed his girlfriend, Anika Brown, and shot and killed himself. The couple lived in the home. It is 5.06. This has been seven years in the making, but the new fossil hall at the Museum of Natural History will finally open this weekend. Here at the David H. Koch Hall of Fossils Deep Time, visitors will find a story that spans 3.7 billion years, exploring evolution, hundreds of specimens, and how it's all connected. It's the first time, really, that a big museum has truly embedded the story of people into the story of the Earth. Kirk Johnson is the same director here and says there are, of course, plenty of dinosaurs. Things like Dinosaurus rex, giant palm fronds from Alaska, exquisite little fossil horses from Wyoming, and there's fossils from all around the country that collectively, they tell our story. The exhibit will open June 8th. Visitors will get a chance to meet paleontologists, check out a fossil lab, and learn all about life on Earth. It's a really cool thing. Melissa Howell, WTOP News. Up ahead after traffic and weather, a number of military families, thousands of them, have been living in substandard private housing. Why is that, and what's the latest on the investigation? We'll check in with Federal News Network. It's 5.07. Here's Greg Myers, Vice President, U.S. Federal, Microsoft. Microsoft's 40-year relationship with the Department of Defense, combined with our innovation and in enterprise cloud capabilities, provides great support for advancing the DOD mission. And our world-class investments in cybersecurity and AI deliver real customer results. Microsoft continues to innovate and deliver cloud services specifically for our government and military. Our investments in the federal market reflect a long-standing and reliable commitment to this community. Visit aka.ms slash gov2019. High-risk programs, information silos, and disconnected government experiences are a thing of the past. PEGA transforms your organization from digital chaos to streamlined digital automation. PEGA's no-code software includes artificial intelligence, robotic automation, and a unified government-ready platform. PEGA empowers your employees, streamlines your operations, and delivers personalized experiences to the right people at the right time. Now that's digital transformation done right. Learn more at PEGA.com slash government. 508. Get 24-7 emergency water damage cleanup with Michael and Son Restoration. Traffic and weather on the 8s and when it breaks. 
on Laurel Bowie Road between the Baltimore Washington Parkway and Bowie State at a point midway between Old Laurel Bowie Road and Powder Mill Road, the crash. Now, for drivers who got by a little while ago, apparently one overturned at that point. The traffic was only alternating one direction at a time on 197. On the parkway, on the interstate, between Northeast Washington, Columbia, Fort Meade, BWI Marshall, Laurel stops along the way. You may find volume slowdowns, especially on the parkway. Nothing reported, broken down or blocking the way. 270 to and from Frederick is run without mishap in either direction. In Virginia, along I-66, from Roslyn to the Beltway, through the interchanges from Fair Oaks and Fair Lakes, past Centerville and Gainesville. Volume delays only, no incidents to block the way. To the Woodrow Wilson Bridge on the outer loop, the activity after the exit for Telegraph Road resolved. The lanes reopened about 40 minutes ago. On the outer loop, delays begin a little bit before Van Dorn Street, so par for the course as a result. Southbound on 395. After Duke Street, from the main lanes, the left entrance into the Easy Pass lanes is closed for work on the pavement on the ramp. The HOV transition to Easy Pass lanes south. They are not physically blocked. Drivers can, of course, access the Easy Pass lanes south of Springfield. Overall, where we're slow on that stretch, the pace picks up after the Occoquan and then slows rather briefly through the interchanges, inevitably at the Easy Pass merge in Garrisonville and through the various work sites, continuing past the Centerport Parkway in Falmouth for volume only. Now, west on Route 7, over the mountain, heading toward the Shenandoah River. Call is caught up in delays so far. No one has been able to check back and uh, tell us what was creating or still is the delay. And on I-66 westbound, out uh, toward Marshall near uh, mile 23, the paving again today, blocking the right travel lane of two. Make your network work for you. The experts at Public Sector Solutions can create an infrastructure that enables secure communication and collaboration. Learn more online, connection.com slash BS. Bob Marburg, WTB Track. A beautiful evening with lows in the upper 50s to mid-60s. Highs tomorrow in the low to mid-80s with partly then mostly cloudy skies and scattered showers and thunderstorms around during the afternoon and evening hours, especially between 3 and 9. Storms could be strong to severe with heavy rain, damaging winds and hail, all possibilities. On Thursday, a few isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible, mainly later in the day. Otherwise, hot and humid, highs near 90. Mid to upper 80s on Friday with mostly sunny skies. Nice on Saturday with highs in the mid 80s. And Storm Team 4 meteorologist Amelia Draper. The plane right now had 76. Outside the glass enclosed nerve center, we're checking in at 77. It's 5-11. We've got an update on a story that we've been following now for months. Thousands of military families are living in private housing on base that is hazardous to their health. Nearly 1,100 children have high lead levels in their blood. Other families were sickened by mold in homes, wrapped for toxic chemicals in the air and soil of their living areas. Well, now the issue is before Congress. Joining us live on Skype from the Pentagon, Federal News Network Defense reporter Scott Massioni. And Scott, uh, give us an idea what the status of these families is right now who need this better housing. Well, a lot of them are basically in limbo right now. They're still trying to figure out where they're going to be living in the future and if they can finally get the remediation that they need from these uh, management companies. Right now, Congress is mostly looking to do an oversight sort of role because the companies are in 50-year contracts with the Defense Department. The only way to really change the incentive structure and the way these companies interact with the, uh, the military families is to change these 50-year contracts and renegotiate them uh, sometime in the near future. Exactly how much money are we talking about, and are the families likely to improve their situation? It, it's likely that they're going to be improving their situation. The Defense Department's already put up a toll-free number that uh, families can call, and that would help them just kind of get out of the chain of command and talk to someone who's in a leadership position where they feel like they're not getting uh, retribution from, from people because they're complaining about their housing. The Senate Armed Services Committee at this point is proposing $301.8 million of new funding in 2020, and that would be improved uh, housing safety 
and it would also to be uh, for, for oversight and for, for other issues that would help uh, hire new staff, that kind of stuff for, uh, for the, the families. One of the local bases of concern has been Joint Base Anacostia Bowling. Have you learned anything specific about the situation there? No, there's not, not been too many specifics on how uh, each base has been faring. At this point, all the services have tried to reach out through surveys and also through phone calls and house visits to find out where the biggest issues are, and they're trying to remediate those as soon as they, they possibly can. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention that's coming up in Congress is going to be a tenant bill of rights, and that's going to give uh, a prohibition on reprisal from, from mil the military chain of command or from private partners. It'll also give uh, the tenants really simple things that most tenants in the private sector already have, like a way to dispute resolutions and also to um, just have the right to a professional and courteous property management service. All right, Scott, thanks a lot. That is Federal News Network defense reporter Scott Mossioni. Up next on WTOP, a big Redskins holdout at minicamp then. Jeopardy cashes in on Monday's big show. Maybe he's Jason Evans in with details. Yeah. 514. Technology Truths, brought to you by GEICO. Technology Truths. Truth, you think you can solve any problem by turning your computer off and on. Hey man, is something wrong with your laptop? Nah, I just need to turn it off and on. It's no problem. It, it's smoking. Yeah, that just means it needs to reboot. Truth, it's so easy to switch and save on car insurance at GEICO.com. And now it's on fire. It happens all the time. It's all good. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Let's look at those Wall Street numbers. Jeff Glabaugh. Now rallied 512 points. That's 2%. Money news in 10 minutes on WTOP. Sports at 15 and 45. Powered by Red River. Technology decisions aren't black and white. Think red. 515. We've got George Wallace and an all-pro guy missing from Redskins minicamp. Yes, that is uh, the case, uh, Sean. As uh, Trent Williams, a no-show today at the mandatory minicamp. Nobody else in town but Trent. Who has two years and about $24 million left on his deal he signed in 2015. Was not there. Reports are he's not happy with his contract. And the seven-time Pro Bowler, Jay Gruden, caught on the best tackle in pro football. He knows that uh, they, uh, the team wants him back. Teammates want him back. Adrian Peterson, he's your buddy. What do you think? Yeah, it is what it is. You know, I've been in the league 13 years for business for the end of the day. Uh, but Trent, he's a professional. He's an all-pro. You know, the channel is for so, you know, so uh, whenever he gets back in there, you know, um, he'll be ready to roll. He will definitely be ready to roll. And, uh, you know, he's coming back to the anyway, So, most likely he wasn't going to participate until training camp. But, you don't want to be around your captain to be you know, not going to be there. Right. So, you know, we'll see if they get this worked out, which I'm sure they will. And everything should uh, be fine. Of course, I say that now, but that's just, you know, <laughs> if it's not something we're talking about with this team, you know, <laughs> well, why not? Josh Norman, Adrian Peters, and Jordan Reed all in town for the minicamp, which continues tomorrow. Steven Strasburg on the Hill tonight, 7 o'clock at Nats Park. Nationals 26 and 33 now have won uh, three straight series, seven of their last nine games that face the White Sox team, a game under 500 Orioles in Texas this evening to begin a series with the Rangers. 18 and 41 all night in the NBA Finals. Kevin Durant has already been ruled out for Game 3, which is tomorrow. Clay Thompson with that hamstring injury suffered in Game 2 is a question mark toward Wallace WTOB Sports. Thank you, George Wallace. We're talking about a warming forecast. It'll be a little different tomorrow than today. That is next, 517. Summer is here, so if you've been thinking about those unsightly varicose or spider veins on your legs or you suffer from painful heavy legs, now is the time to call Virginia Vein Care so you can wear shorts with confidence. Their board-certified doctors specialize in the comprehensive treatment of vein disease, and unlike other centers, at Virginia Vein Care, your consultation will be with one of their physicians. Virginia Vein Care uses state-of-the-art, non-invasive technology, and insurance covers most procedures. No time off work is needed, and patients return to normal activities the same day. With locations in Tyson's, D.C., and Percival, it's never been easier to take care of those unattractive or painful veins on your legs. Wear shorts with confidence and call 703-506-VEIN or visit virginiavaincare.com. That's 703-506-VEIN or virginiavaincare.com. Feel great wearing hey, shorts. 703-506-VEIN or virginiavaincare.com. The award-winning writer of Broadway's latest hit, Hillary and Clinton, comes the award-winning sequel that needs no prequel, a dumb.
Dolls House Part 2, presented by Roundhouse Theater. Fifteen years ago, Nora Helmer ghosted her husband and abandoned her children. Now she's back looking for help, but all they want are answers. In the hit comedy, The Washington Post calls provocative and fun. Dolls House Part 2 begins June 5th at the Landsberg Theater in D.C. Tickets on sale now at roundhousetheater.org. WTOP at 518. Traffic and weather on the 8th. find volume slowdowns with nothing blocking the way. In Virginia, from the 14th Street Bridge to the Beltway, Woodbridge and Quantico, volume heaviest from about the Fairfax County Parkway to the Occoquan, then catching up with the second slowdown much closer to Garrisonville. Also note, though, access to the easy pass lanes south of Duke Street. The ramp is closed for a pavement issue. HOV transitioning on the easy pass lanes. The lanes are open. Drivers getting out of the HOV lanes before the beltway. Your ramp is not affected. It's only the entrance to the left exit heading inbound. To the Wilson Bridge, anything that transpired last hour near Telegraph Road long since resolved. Volume begins near Van Doren Street, once in Maryland through Prince George's and Montgomery County, where we've been slow. That seems to be a matter of volume only. Now back on the Virginia side heading west. Ford Marshall, your milepost 24, the paving again today, blocking the right lane. And traveling over the mountain into Clark County on Route 7, drivers who have made the, the trip report that anything that was creating the slowdown to or across the Shenandoah also resolved nothing to be seen. Old Land Bank has been building a brighter future for your community for 30 years. Visit oldlinebank.com. Not just your bank, but also your neighbor, a member of FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Bob Harbour, WTP Traffic. Well, hello, Amelia Draper. Hello, Hillary. How are you? Very well. How's the weather? The weather is spectacular right now. You might be noticing a little bit of heating that's moved into the area. This is from wildfire down in Florida. It's a perfect day about actually making its way into our area. Thankfully, that is that smoke is a lot, so it's not going to have any impact on our air quality here, but could certainly intensify the sunset colors tonight, the red, the oranges, and the yellows. Something we'll certainly be monitoring, and I hope you as well, with the sunset time right around 8.30. We'll have lows tonight dipping into the upper 50s to mid-60s with mainly clear skies out there. Tomorrow will be a nice start, but throughout the day, we'll have humidity and wind increasing. Nice tomorrow in the blue Side glass and closed nerve center brought to you by Light of Plumber. Trust the same day service, seven days a week. 522, it's the end of an era on Jeopardy. Last night, there was a big change that led to monster ratings. What a game! Oh my god! It was a game a lot of people watched. Monday show, which 32 time champ James Hotel finally won. Jeopardy producers say the 
is being investigated, and the leaker will be dealt with. Jason Athens and ABC News. All right. Now, to your help on WTOP. If you thought substituting white meat for red meat might help lower your cholesterol, new study suggests might not. For two weeks, researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, watched 113 people who ate protein from three different sources, white meat, red meat, and plants. They found the concentrations of both total cholesterol and the bad cholesterol, it's LDL and non Hey, Jeff Claybaugh. The Fed chair signaled the Fed might be open for considering a rate cut if necessary. Most rounded on that. Just about a trifle of growth points. That's up 59. That's a good one. It's now offering free ACT and SAT prep courses and more flexible part-time hours. You can also risk a meaning from increased blood loss. 